Atsugani family captain Kyohei Hamura is connected to the mole. Confirming his suspicions, Yagami's progress is impeded. The entire city is under Hamura's surveillance, and it went deeper than he knew. Alone and out of options, Yagami receives a little support. But the night is still young. Don't show your face again until you've got him. Search the whole fucking city if you have to. What, the kid in the mask? Find him too, dumbass! Ah! Come on, Kaito-san. Pick up, pick up. You've gotta hide. Busy. Kairosun better not be back at the office. It's the first place to look. Alright, welcome to chapter three. I think we need to hurry up and get here. Time no see, Yagami. Higashi, is that you? Hmm. hmm. Higashi from the Mas uh, Matsugane family. He and Kato-san were close before Kato-san got booted. Said he's here on Captain's orders. They've been looking for you. I know. Sounds like he really doesn't want our killer caught. You're not giving up, are you? With how much it's pissing Hammer off? I wouldn't dream of it. Keep your nose out of this, asshole. It's your fault I'm here cleaning this shit up. What? Something wrong? I thought you were all about being Hammer's lapdog. I'm willing to do a few tricks for the treats he hands out. Hell, he's a better leader than you were, Kaito Anaki. You've got no business calling me that now. I suppose not. Then take your thugs and go, Higashi. Fine, we can call it here for today. Looks like if I want to fight you, I'll have to be ready to kill you. Looking forward to it. We're done here. Come on. Remember what I told you. Yagami here is a ticking time bomb. Get rid of him if you want to survive. Damn, Higashi. You're finally looking like a real Yakuza these days. Whatever, asshole. Talk. Think you can tail Higashi real quick? Huh? If I'm being honest, I've been worried about him ever since I left the clan. Yeah. He's changed a lot. I couldn't tell you what he's been through, but it's pretty clear he's had it rough. It's like you said, he's changed a lot. Alright, I'm on it. Here, let me pay you. 
It's the least I can do. <laughs> you really think I want your money? Besides, how else am I gonna get more dirt on Hamra? Ooh, another classic tail mission. <laughs> Hello? It's Kaito. I have a read on Higashi. Just turn right down Nakamichi Street. Alone. Right on Nakamichi. Got it. Thanks again. Aniki! Help me out here! The fuck are you? Oh, shit. Get lost, pal. He's out of a league, man. Let's move. Thank you so much! Anytime. Higashi went into an arcade on Park Boulevard. Ring any bells? An arcade? Yeah. Looks like it's called Charles. Oh, that. I used to manage the place. Guess the family has him running it now. A Yakuza arcade? Well, they have a casino in the back or something? Nah, we just used it for deals every so often. It's pretty much a regular shop. You know, for kids. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Hey, just a sec. What? It's, uh, pretty tight in there. You're gonna need to be covert if you don't want him spotting you. Right. I'll change real quick. Got it. Alright, looks like we need to change. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with the dirty bum look. I, I gotta tell you, man, that's some good beard work right there. You know what I'm talking about? Coin. Pipe down, Brad. Can't you see I'm busy here? Yeah, but... I said beat it, kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, kid. Here, go have some fun. Whoa, really? Thanks, mister.
Investigate. I guess you just go in. What do you think you're doing, huh? Off limits. I said stay out, asshole. I mean, did he deserve that? Jeesh. higashi son, this guy's crazy. Yagami? Okay. <laughs> you followed me, asshole? Wait, what the hell are you wearing? Let's not worry about that now. So, what do you want? Kaito son's worried about you, you know? Oh, yeah? As far as he can tell, you're nothing like you were in the old days. Why the fuck would I be? And who the fuck cares? This is how the Yakuza roll. Right. Except it's all a big act, isn't it? <laughs> huh? I saw you give that kid some cash, you big softy. Deep down, you're the same old Higashi. The one who used to look up to Kaito-san. You sure about that, asshole? Look, I don't want to fight you. I can turn and walk away if you want. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Same old story. How long has it been since we've seen each other? A year now? It was the day Kaito-san got expelled. You were... pretty upset by it. A thief going after Yakuza Cash. Couldn't imagine anyone's that dumb. But they did it. All under Kaito-san's watch. The family lost 100 mil that day. But there was nothing Kaito-san could do with a gun shoved in his face. think you're doing making sure there's some accountability around here boss as if that'll suddenly make things right how exactly does this get our money back well it won't but it's a start it's important to set an example a hundred mil huh sounds like that's one expensive finger talk why are you here? We were outside having a chat. The hell do you think you're doing? That pinky's big money. Thought I'd get a good long look before it's gone forever. Shut it! Huh. <laughs> Pretty pathetic, isn't it? But Hamura, the damage was a hundred million. You really think one pinky can cover that? Huh. There's gonna be a whole lot more coming his way. More than this? Uh, what more can you do? Good question. Kaido-san. You're out for good. There's no way. Kaito Anaki is... <sighs> Boss, you're okay with this? Begging him won't get you out of this. You see, boss, it's gotta be done. You know it's only fair. You should know. I already informed the main family of this. Did you know? You were awfully efficient about that. Thank you very much. <sighs> Atsugane san, you really gonna go through with this? It's done, Tak. Kaito's out. From this point forward? Are you sure about that? I'm certain. Good news, Kaito-san. You get to keep your pinky. Huh? You don't get to decide that! 
Yakuza cut off their fingers to show accountability for the things they do. A civilian like Kaito-san has no reason to do that. The fuck do you think you are? With all due respect, your own boss just said Kaito's not Yakuza anymore. Captain. Back off. I'll do what I've gotta. Kaito-san. This is how it's gonna have to be. I'm not afraid. I'm Yakuza, dammit! Wait! Kaito! You're not Matsugani family or Yakuza anymore. You hear? I don't need your pinky, so just go. <laughs> Boss. It was fucked up. The boss brought you in to save Kaito Anaki. But it was too late. He was gonna get expelled no matter what. Even so, you gave him the best defense a man could ask for. Yeah, and Hamura's had his eye on me ever since. You know, you're doing pretty well for yourself, Higashi. Looks like you're moving up the ranks. I heard this used to be Kaito-san's arcade. Hell do you know? Guess I touched a nerve, huh? Hamura practically controls the Matsugani family now. With Kaito Anaki gone, Matsugani-san's command has slowly slipped away. This would have never happened if he'd stayed. Couldn't you have done something? You just sat and watched while he took control. Easy for you to say. I couldn't have done shit. Maybe not. By the way, Whatever happened to the family's hundred mil? Huh? Did they ever get the money back? Or find the thief? <sighs> Fuck off. It's none of your business. True. Kittison's probably waiting for me back at the office. To go. Fine. I ended up going in that arcade. Talk to Higashi. He caught you, huh? Nah. I just wanted to have a chat. Anything come of it? First off, Matsugani-san's completely lost control of Hamura. Apparently, Higashi has no choice now but to follow his captain's orders. Fucked up. When we talked, though, it felt like I was talking to the same old Higashi. Didn't look same old to me. If Akashi's really changed, I bet it all started after the break-in that got Kato-san kicked out. I wonder what came of all that. Kaito-san, how long's it been since you saw Higashi? Today was the first time since getting the boot. Hamura would have been all over him if we kept in touch. I didn't want to weigh him down, you know? Gotcha. You know a year ago, when you got expelled from the family? Uh-huh. It was because someone stole a hundred mil from the safe, right? Yeah, what about it? What ended up happening with that? Did you ever hear anything? Apparently, Higashi got it all back. At least, according to Ayabe. Higashi did? But how? Not a clue. I would have had to fork up another 200 grand for more info. I didn't have the cash, so I dropped it. Haven't brought it up since. Sounds like Ayabe has a lot to tell us. It'll cost you. Bet you can find him a tender around now. I wonder what Hamura will do next. He'll be back here soon enough. It's just a matter of time. Wouldn't even be surprised if he tried to off us. <laughs> you think we pissed him off that much? Well, he doesn't want us catching the mole, that's for sure. Other than that... I think he just hates our guts. Damn. Even though we're the reason he's a free man? Guess we just can't catch a break. I 
All right, report to Kaito. You heading to tender? Whatever info Ayabe's got is gonna cost you, you know. I hope I have enough then. I'll figure something out if not. Welcome back, Doc. So, rumor has it you've been serving drinks to a dirty cop? In my bar? I take offense to that. <laughs> Ayabe here yet? He said he's heading over. Before that, though, Taka, I've got a little job I'd like you to handle, if you would. A job, huh? Only the best detective in Kamaroto can handle this case. Oh, yeah? Well, then how can I refuse? Musada always has a way with words. Ah, you're blushing. I mean it, though. Then clue me in. <laughs> would if I could. I never actually asked. The client's a regular of mine, though, so you don't need to worry. All right, we got another job request. Uh, reward is 50,000 and 100 XP. Ace is the best. All right, let's do it. Anyway, you'll need to head over to a place called Hills Garden on Park Boulevard. Right now? Right now. And I'll let you know when Ayabe-san comes in. Come on, detective. It's not like you to turn down a paying job. Huh. You got me there. Alright, what's broad in your scope? As his reputation grows, more side cases, depending on your relationship. So, if you guys haven't known, uh, during some of the downtime, I've been doing some friendship things. Um, maybe some of you will say, oh, you know, you want to see some of that. But you do, you've you seen some of it already. It's very basic stuff to befriend someone. And it's nothing, to be honest, really show-worthy. But if I feel something is show-worthy, I will show it. But if I feel like it's it's not worth the prime time to show it off, then uh, you won't see it. I've been doing a little bit of upgrading as well, as far as my character goes. Out of the way! Which is why you see me be able to have like better moves and all that. <laughs> Really, guys? This is where the client told me to meet him. Detective Yagami? Are you my client? Ah. Uh. Yeah. You can call me Crow. Hmm? That mask. Are you in that group of thieves everyone's been whispering about lately? Why? You wouldn't snitch if I was, would you? We may be thieves, but we don't steal from the righteous. Just the bad guys. You know, like Robin Hood. And because they're bad, it's not a crime? It's for a judge to decide, not me. <laughs> really? You're more of a goody two-shoes than I thought. Barkeep attender told me this is a request from one of his regulars, but he knew I turned a request from a thief, so he lied to me. Damn, that's cold. Here's the thing, I protect my client's privacy, so you can rest easy about that. But if you're trying to get to me, help you stealing, I'm not accepting your case. Okay, that suits me fine, because all I want you to do is find someone. Hmm? Find someone? He goes by Jester. I don't know his real name. So he's... Oh. Yes, he's one of ours. But I haven't been able to reach him for a while. I think it's safe to say he's missing in action. You know what he looks like? As his name suggests, he wears a Jester's mask. Oh, really? I know exactly who that is. One of our guys screwed the pooch. We ended up needing to run from the coops. We only managed to get away because Jester distracted them. Hmm. Sounds like a hell of a friend. That's when we lost touch with him, though. But he's way too good to get captured. And that's what makes his silence 
all the more perplexing. Sounds like you have a lot of faith in him. He's our ace in the hole. He's smart, professional, and he's got a cute butt. So if he's in trouble, we need to be there for him this time. Yeah, yeah, we do. I see. I'll pay you 50,000 yen. And don't worry, it's clean money. Hmm. I was curious about that guy myself. If I take this job, maybe we'll cross paths again. Yeah. All right. I'll accept the case. <laughs> then it's a done deal. We'll be expecting results. <laughs> Wait, how should I get in touch with you if I find anything? Come back here when you find something out. We always have someone watching this spot. We'll know when you come, Yagami-san. Yes, yes. Yes, we will. <laughs> I see. So long, then. Auf Wiedersehen, good night. Adieu. Ching chong chai. Sorry, that was from... Uh, was from a movie and I can't even remember what the name of that movie was. I'm helping a group of notorious thieves find their buddy. What is life not an adventure? Where do I even begin? I guess it wouldn't hurt to check out the spot where I saw him last. If I recall, it was the building behind Ten Tenkaichi Street. Let's move. It's unfortunate, man. It really is so unfortunate that all of these missions here they do not have these side missions. They don't have voices, man. I don't know. That just perplexes me the wrong way. I really wish that they would have uh, put voices in them. I know it's not that big of a deal, but I get to do a little voice acting myself. So it's great for you guys. But for me, you know, I want to sit back and relax too uh, to uncover the story as well. And unfortunately, it's a little bit harder for me because I have to speak at the same time. I think it'd be better if we go this. This is where the thief helped me out. That seems out of the ordinary. Ah, wait, isn't that him? I've got to get to him before he fails. Hey, you. Huh? You're... Hmm. <laughs> Are you here on the trail of a certain thieves? I'm a huge fan! Mm -hmm. Huh? You're a fan? <laughs> yeah, baby! I'm a major thief aficionado! <laughs> <laughs> when I heard they've been spotted here, I totally had to come down and check it out, yeah? Wait. So, you're not a member yourself? Ha! <laughs> nah, but I looked the part, right? You wouldn't believe what I went through to get this stuff. Yeah, but why? <laughs> because! Just check out these silver accessories, man! 500,000 yen when all said and done, baby! Huh? You're kidding me, right? What's even the point of wearing that much bling? Well... The ones that the thieves wear cost like a few more zeros, you know, like, duh. But you can't fault a guy for one of them to dress like his heroes, can you? Uh, so these thieves have a style, eh? I guess uh, even thieves need to make a fashion statement. It's more of a recent thing. They used to be a pretty generic, you know. But now they wear really high-end brands. When you get as good as them, I guess you can afford it, baby. So I see. The fee they offered was pretty generous, so I could already tell them they weren't broke. I got evidence? What are they? Used accessories? Sorry, man. Can I ask you to snap a pic of me? I gotta post it to my chatter. Uh, I'm a little busy for that, kid. Sorry. Well, this was a dead end. Maybe I should try Senor of Avenue. Alright, I think I'm going this way. I swear I am still so not good at navigating this freaking map. It's gonna take me so long to figure this map out, man. Hey! Stop right there! Hmm? What's going on? Okay, meet up at the Kamachau Theater Garden. Got it, boss! 
Hold it! Weren't those two in the same group of thieves? <clears throat> Damn it! Excuse me. Did those guys... Oh, sorry. Did those guys just steal something, officer? Yeah! Some poor woman's handbag! Hmm? Bastards. Really? Weren't those two thieves everyone's talking about lately? I thought they only stole from the unjust. That's a bald-faced lie! Nothing but propaganda! As you can tell, they're out here stealing whatever they can to get their grubby mitts on. Just... or not. Huh. This doesn't add up. Those guys said something about meeting at Kamaro Theater. Maybe I can catch up to them. Go, Speed Racer, go! You don't give up, do you? Really, guys? This is where those two purse snatchers were going to meet up. Ah! Those clothes. Is that them? Woo! Close one, boss! <sighs> I told you this was a bad move, man! We're just robbers now! I thought we were only going to steal from the wicked! Crow's whole philosophy. Maybe it was, boss, but the hypocrite doesn't practice what it preaches, so why should hmm? we? What? That's that's what I read on the net. Oh my god, I Tom, don't remember the voices I'm giving these people. But it's really true. Well, here's what I heard, man. Basically, he got offered a job by some big corporation to steal secrets from their competition. The money they offered was so good, the senior member knew they couldn't turn it down. So they took it, mm -mm -mm, as I shake my head back and forth, mm -mm -mm, and split the profits. None of it ever made down to the grunts like us. What about Jester? He would never do that. Would he? No way. Jester's not like that, man. No way, boss. No way, Jose. So what they told us is they would quit over to profit splitting. I think that's true. No way, man. No way. He didn't like how Charles was running the show. The show. He was running the show, the crow. So he split. Damn, dude. <laughs> but I still say Jess is an idiot, too, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just because you claim you're a righteous thief doesn't mean you're not going to do it time if the cops catch you. So what's the point? Might as well try to come out ahead. I guess. But you think the rest of the crew knows all this? I doubt the newbies do. They all brought in the crow's lies, and they probably think Jester's actually missing. So I say we just keep getting better. And hope crew cuts us in on the next big job, yo. You know what I'm saying? And got a plan, as any, right? Wait a wait a sec. <sighs> ah, screw it. I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna quit. Maybe I should just turn myself in. Hmm. Well, shit. Sounds like the client's been trying to play me. Jester isn't missing. He just quit because this group hijacked a, this crow guy. And if I had to guess crow's motivation for looking for Jester, well, it couldn't be good. I think me and my client need to have a discussion. Now we're gonna have a talk, all right. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. Uh, basement. I'm, I'm guessing one F, one F, maybe. I don't know. Who the hell are you? You trying to impersonate Jester with that mask, yo? Uh -huh. You are him. You tried to pull a fast one on us, Dumas. <laughs> yeah. Besides, Jester's never worn all this loud, tacky shit. <laughs> so here's a good plan. Why don't we take it off your hands? You really look the part. <laughs> Those guys, what are they doing? Uh. Hey, stop. Looks like we got company. Bring him down to size, baby. Guess we're doing this. Hey, I finally threw it off. That was the first time. Alright, I 
I think I'm finally actually here. <laughs> Except there's nobody there to, get, to take him out. I'm doing it on the easy guys. There we go. I'm finally actually getting that. Just took me three chapters or... Hey. Hey. Aren't you that weird Thieves fan? Yes. What happened? I saw the thieves and I wanted to shake their hands. <laughs> but then they kind of, you know, tried to kill me. Yagi, my son. You came at a bad time, bro. Hey. Crow, what's going on here? A little slip up? More importantly, did you find Jester? Oh shit, wrong person. Uh, not yet. I'm disappointed. For a detective with a reputation for proving a murder suspect innocent, you're not that impressive. I could say the same for you, righteous thieves. <laughs> what a joke. And your missing friend? That's all a lie too, right? You're coming on pretty strong there, Yagami. What would you ever think that? I think there's plenty of evidence. Alright, one of the burglars is getting particular about their fashion. They've been dressing head to toe, so it's not that. There's only two options. There's to steal only from the corrupted in order to stuff his own pockets. Gesture drew a line there in the sand and left the ring after the... Okay. Yeah, clearly we know which one it is. The way I hear it, you broke the rule about only stealing from the corrupt. Huh? huh? What are you talking about? The job was too good to pass up, wasn't it? You couldn't resist. You're talking out your ass. I don't keep any of the money I steal. Seems stupid to even have to point this out, but... What evidence would contradict the statement that the thieves are poor? Well, clearly right here. The crap you're wearing. I heard it's expensive. And how many do you even have? More than I could ever afford. <laughs> <laughs> now we're seeing the detective come out. You have a good eye. So tell me. Why are you really looking for Jester? No reason, really. Just had a pretty tempting job to offer him. We're going to rob the security van of a credit union. And the best part? The client is the credit union's manager. Ma, ma, ma. Hmm? What? They need a robbery to happen to cover up their financial failure. Classic insurance fraud. They get reimbursed by their insurance, and they expect us to give back what we steal doubling their profits, <laughs> but I have no intentions of giving it back. People are such idiots when they're backed into a corner. So you're staging a robbery and then breaching your contract. What happened to honor among thieves? That's how it was at first. We used to talk big on back channels, net chats. <laughs> what the hell did I just say? <laughs> But we're always checking out when it came to pulling the eyes. I can't stop laughing. We were all talk. Just a bunch of losers on the web looking at porn. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. Until he showed up. You mean Jester? Uh. Yes, he was a genius. He knew how to execute a plan. We owe it all to him. We got big enough to gain a following. Yeah, and then he left you high and dry when you got too greedy, huh? Yep. He was all about punishing social injustice, always acting so high and mighty. Then what makes you think he'll help you on this fraud heist? Who knows? If he saw what a payday it's going to be, even he might have a change of heart. And if he didn't? Then I guess we'd be parting ways. <laughs> Sounds like that was your plan from the beginning. I take it you planned on getting rid of me too, huh? Of course, especially now that you know what I've told you. I'm afraid your time has come. Yeah, right. I took your job, and I expect to get paid. Not a wise choice. Eat my fist. Like that? Maybe you like that even more. Get up when I'm talking to you! <laughs> Get 
<laughs> Shit, son! You, you, oh, sorry. You need to disband your little group before you do anything really stupid. And I think you owe an apology to everyone who joined you thinking you were some righteous bandit. <sighs> I'll end it, man, I swear. <sighs> I'm so lonely. I'm so sorry and rowing around. Yag at me, son. Hmm? Hmm? If you ever see Jester, and he's still out there playing the hero, can you tell him to take it down a notch, please? What do you mean? He's overextending himself. I don't really know what fuels his rage against injustice. Probably some tragic shite in his past, but he's got to stop. He'll get caught, and he's my bro. Yeah. All right, I'll take it to him. I'll put the money directly into your bank account. Don't ask how I know what your bank account is, but I'll put it right into it as after I take all of it. Well, this didn't get me any closer to Jester, but I think I learned a few things about him all the same. You can now accept requests at Bartender. All right. Hello? It's Ayabe. Masuda told me to give you a ring. Guess Masude kept his word, huh? You need something? Yeah. Info I hear you got. You got the cash? I'm done handing out freebies. Oh, and the price will depend on what you want to know. Well, it just so happens you already told Kaito-san the price. Two hundred grand. Hmm? You know how all that money got stolen from the Matsugane? I want to know what happened to it. And what? I said it'd be two hundred K? That's what he told me. In that case, let's make it one hundred. Price drops with age. Oh, does it? Look, I'm not pulling the numbers out of my ass. I got calculations. System. Anyway, I'll drop by your place tomorrow. Have the cash ready. Alright. Broaden your scope. I already know about the reputation. Okay, what is our bank account looking like? I don't... We have 188,000, so we have enough. Uh, Skills-wise, we've got 2,000 points. Um, you know, not prepared for the find the corresponding skill book. All right, so there's skill books that we need to find. Maybe I'll look these up at some point. Balance of the tiger will less to falter from enemy attacks while in tiger stance. That might be something good. Yeah, let's get it. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, stay relevant and keep my skills up. Why is the door locked? I mean, seriously. It let's should be see. A. That'll do it. All right, so I return to the agency. You can also play a video game. Or remain on a mission. Eventually, we're going to go through some of these games, I'm sure. I gotta be stopping by tomorrow. Might be a good idea to get some shut eye. Ugh, I'm exhausted. This must be the files he promised. Those are the files on the Matsugane robbery investigation? Investigation? What have you been smoking? No Yakuza is going to report a robbery on their office. I mean, they'd have cops swarming the place. Wait. The Matsugane incident was never a formal case. I rounded all of this up myself. You have the cash? A hundred grand. Just 
just like you asked. Nice. Everything's so clear. And these are practically real case files. You want to know how long I spend on this stuff? Way more than I do on the streets, that's for sure. <laughs> Someone's proud of himself. <laughs> now then, this is the floor plan for the Matsugane family office. It's from a year ago when the break-in happened. They haven't remodeled since then, have they? <laughs> Doubt it. So the question is, how did the thief break in, get the money, and make it out? So, to avoid getting seen by the security camera, the thief snuck in behind a guy coming in. Once they were in the camera's blind spot, he pistol whipped the guy and knocked him out cold. At the time, Kaito was the only one watching over the office. That's why the thief went in at 3 p.m. Barely any guards to deal with. All he had to do was point his gun at Kaito and get him to open the safe. There was only one thief. Why didn't Kaito-san fight back? What would you do if a guy pointed a gun at your head and then shot the ceiling to prove his point? Even a guy like him would freeze up under that kind of pressure. You're really gonna chance playing hero? Once the safe was open, the thief smacked Kaito too. Knocked him out, just like the last guy. And that's how the story ends. So he broke in specifically when nobody was around. Ballsy. Raiding a Yakuza office with just a pistol. Sounds a little too well thought out. <laughs> this guy was a pro. And consider this. If he didn't know when the office would be empty, he'd never have been able to pull it off. Clearly, he had a contact on the inside. Maybe, but still, I don't understand why Kaito-san reacted like that. Normally, he'd have killed the guy, or died trying. <laughs> Thought you'd say that. Hmm? That was all just a warm-up. This next bit is what's worth the hundred grand. So, I said Kaito was alone in the office, right? Well, turns out someone else was there, too. Huh? Higashi. He saw the whole thing go down. But Kaito's the guy who took the proverbial bullet. Bad move, dumbass. <laughs> Open the fucking safe. Hurry up or I'll kill you. Interesting. Well then, you better make it count. Otherwise, it's gonna be my turn. <laughs> Apparently the poor guy was polishing his boss's shoes off in the corner. By the time he figured out what was going on, he was fucked. Okay then, you got me. The money's yours. I'll just go get it. Higashi couldn't forget that face if he tried. It was seared into his memory. You could say it all worked out for the best, since no one got killed. You could also say Higashi abandoned his Oniki and let the thief get away. And that's one way for a Yakuza to lose a finger. Kaito never did tell anyone else that Higashi froze like a deer in the headlights. Instead, 
He took the fall for the missing hundred mil, and got himself tossed out of the family. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? That sounds exactly like what Kaito-san would do. Right? But what happened next? How did Higashi get the money back? Couldn't have been easy. He chased the thief down and took it back. Thought that'd get Kaito back into the fold, which... it obviously didn't. Thing is, he needed access to the police database to search for faces. The police database? That means... I see it now. That's why you know what you do, huh? You think so? It's the only way you'd know about this case. They never filed a police report after all. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Long story short, Higashi used the database and found his man. A homeless guy living on the streets of Kamurocho. Known around town as Red Nose. Here, just sent you a pic. That's what he looked like before his life went to shit. This is Red Nose? I don't think his nose is all that red. Not my name. Don't ask me. Anyway, I think you know what came next. He tracked Red Nose down and took the money back. But Kaito-san's still out in the cold. Ain't that funny? Meanwhile, Higashi's shooting up the ranks. Guess he got on Hamura's good side. And Red Nose? Haven't heard a peep about him. And I'm keen to keep it that way. Higashi didn't... kill him, did he? Beats me. Hmm. Well, how was it? Worth the hundred Gs? A year ago. Gashi must have turned the city upside down looking for Red Nose. If a guy like him could pull that off, so can I. Alright, looks like uh, we need to inquire about Red Nose. Sorry, can I ask you something? Depends. What do you want? I'm looking for someone. Man by the name of Red Nose. Red Nose? Never heard of him. Nothing, huh? But maybe my friends know something. Can you ask them? You bet. Might take some time, though. That's all right. I can wait. If you say so. Oh, and in return, I've got this thing called a play pass. You mind taking a shot at it? Come again? It's for a new game this Big Shot Committee just opened. They call it Dice and Cube, over at Paradise VR. Which is... what? It's, uh, some kind of fancy board game. You wear stupid glasses, you roll dice, a heck of a... It's over on Theater Alley, and you need one of the play passes to get in. Huh. This town's crazy sometimes. I hear they got some pretty nice prizes if you win, too. But my legs are shot to shit. No VR for this hobo. Yeah, I guess you'd still have to move around. I got a few friends who've tried, but it sounds like they're all having trouble. So I want you to get a prize for me. Young guy like you can do it no problem, what do you say? Sounds interesting. Alright, you wait here. I'll go win you that prize. Thanks a million, buddy. I'll ask around about your red nose in the meantime. I'm not gonna do a voice for her. I'm gonna play some VR. It's a side case, okay? Play pass uh, is another thing the homeless guy yep. gave me. Free trial pass. You can play with just one of these. Have you played Dice nope. and Cube before? Nope. I see that case. Happy to meet you on the trips today, Daisy. As in nice dice. We hope you have an amazing experience that brings you back yeah. for more. Thanks. I'll guide you through the short course today. The customers who do this short course will get a surprise. Uh, two dice left in your possession. Do your best. I'm sure it's going to explain a lot of it. Um, all right, that's all. Let's get into it. <laughs> Enjoy your trip to the virtual Kamarocho.
Here we go. Let's do this. Right. New phrase, howdy, the name's yada yada. If I run this dice and cube game, I was born and raised in Hiroshima, y'all see, but it was always in the game. Nice to have the company. There's three basic things you ought to know. First, you can start rolling with A and stop them with A. Second, there's a time limit of how many, or there's a limit of how many you can do per game. And third, uh, around these parts are converted to cash rewards once all is said and done. Third rule is mighty important, but I reckon it's quicker to show you than just running it. Yeah. Time for you, and you're running first for Don't be nervous now. All right, so here we go. So we need to hit A once. We have 16 spaces to reach the goal, and we've got five dice to do it. Now. All right, three. Number shows how many dice you have. Okay, when I reach zero, bang. Game over. Higher number is, the higher the bonus you get. The bonus changes depending on how much you have left. Just press X to look at the details. All right. One, two, three. Ooh. Okay, you get mighty fine prizes. Here goes the safe. Almost there. Now it would get really challenging if you have to do both at the same time. Nice. I picked up a Chirashi. It's worth 10,000. So, wow. All right, time to throw another one. 13 more to go. Roll them. Oh my god, we're not going to make it. <laughs> we're getting the lowest numbers you could possibly want. Oh, the fighter. All right, here's a battle space. The more stars you get, the rougher and tougher. Manage to win, you get to add to your dice. Okay, cool. One star battle, shouldn't be any trouble. This is hilarious. We're doing this. Prepaid card, you get 10,000, nice. All right, now we have four dice left, uh, 11 spaces to reach. Come on. Five. Which one? Branching path, eh? Well, whichever way you go is up to you. By pressing LB and looking at the dang old map. All right, so if I'm here, if I go left, that's going to be the best one. So go left and then immediately go right. Another one. Why do we look like we're in a different spot? Straight path to the goal now. 
All right, so it's uh, straight ahead uh, and then to the left. Six spaces. Now. Oh, come on. Oh. Not looking good. Only got one left? Are you kidding me? Four spaces to reach the goal. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. How much, like... It's the worst luck ever. Damn, couldn't do it. Okay, it's a side case. This is so weird. Excuse me. Huh? <sighs> All right, here we go. Looks like we gotta chase it down or something. Oh, it's one of those. These aren't too bad, though, honestly. I don't know how that makes sense at all. Whew. Finally got it. <sighs> Sorry, man. It's really fast hack. It was pretty crazy, man. Here. Thank you. Uh, aren't you gonna wear it? Nah. I can't put it on when anyone's watching. Hello. Which brings me to my next point. Do I look familiar hmm. to you? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do feel like I recognize you. I guess you'll find out when you turn on the TV. You mind letting me explain mm -hmm. real quick? Sure. Hey, listen, man, listen. I, I don't want to speak with my real voice when I'm out there with people, so I'm going to tell you a threat. No one's looking, right? Mm -hmm. Not that I can tell. All right, all right, all right, here goes. The wind was rather mischievous, eh? I mean, I feel downright tense. Perhaps my old friend, the wind, got jealous of how much sunlight I've been taking in lately. What a child. Why is he suddenly acting like a different person? What a, what a heel I've been. I should introduce myself. I'm Toya Tokunaga, the idol. Huh? What? You're an idol? Oh, you don't know me, eh? 
Yeah, I was thinking I was famous. <laughs> if rumors are to believe be the truth, Toyo Takanaya is the fire between a certain subset of everyone woman desire. Uh, so I see. So who am I, Yupi? You got a mean spirit. I'm Yagami. I run a private eye business in Kamarucho. Well, I do apologize for taking you into such a place like this, Yagami-san. My faith is such a well-known commodity, I can't let people see me like this. I guess that's understandable. But I do have a favor to ask. Can you keep the hand a secret? You know, Toya Tanaga is a singing and dancing idol with silky smooth hair and a fist about to breathe. If people were to find out that Silky's me with just a hat and that I really sound like this, they would probably not want to watch me anymore. It's fine. Your secret is safe with me. Thanks for your cooperation, man. This is a token of my gratitude. Not huff money or anything, but still, you know, huff. Anyways, I'm doing for a taping right now. We shall meet again through the magic of the TV! <laughs> Came in like a gale and left like a breeze. I hate seeing them go, but I loved watching them leave. Hey pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Sorry. Turns out I suck. You couldn't do it, huh? Oh well. Sorry for borrowing your legs. Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fella. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No, not yet. Try heading over to the children's park then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. Thanks for the tip. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. All right, let's see. We have got some points that we can skin, uh, spend on some skills. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, fishers. We've been doing the fisher, and actually, we've been doing it pretty good now. Uh, rising tornado, escape counter. While well, grabbed by a weak enemy. We've not... Well, I guess we haven't been really grabbed that much. So we got some counters. Oh, what's this? Playground. We are heading to a playground. Continuous attack using a swing uses one EX gauge. Let's learn that. Let's do... I haven't been doing any of these tauntings. I doing a leapfrog. All right. We're just adding up some more, uh, and we'll do that one. Right, I think it's good. All right, let's hit. Hey. Sorry about this. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards!
You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? <sighs> we wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up in the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? <sighs> Not sure. Those types are kinda out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. Fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. <laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep, that's him. Not a doubt in my mind. So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. Higashi-san! Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him. Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito-san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what, exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? <laughs> Who? Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. And not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi-san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money... Maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It 
it's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. <laughs> Thanks for that. Now go! Fuck you! God damn, that felt good. Come on! Yeah. This is what I pay you for, Kaito-san. Fuck yeah! I'm not very good at getting up and doing this stuff. Sorry, sorry, guys. See, I can't get... Yeah, I can't do it. I tried. Let me get rid of this, like... Nice. Okay, I got out of that. Ah, I did it wrong, but dang it, man. It's so hard to do what I wanted to do sometimes. Too far away. Alright, I gotta stop messing around. I'm trying to do too many cool moves. And it's going to end up getting me, like, killed, so why don't we go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of yummy yummy. Pick a bento box. And we got plenty enough. That's what I get for trying to do the special moves. If I oh my god, he's literally jugging my ass. Juggling my ass. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be super easy, but I just want to i want to pull off the cool moves instead of just fighting them regular. Can I get up? Oh my god, I wouldn't do it again. Jeez. Alright, we got him. I just... And that would have been an easy fight. I just wanted to pull off the cool moves. I didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light. Where the safe was. Not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money. It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? 
If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. So Amara staged a robbery and pinned it on Kaido's son to get him expelled. But if Higashi knows all of that, why is he at Amara's beck and call? How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town, till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But me and Red Nose, we weren't the only two there. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamura was gonna get 90 mil, and Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy. Who's there? Come out! Hamura... Is that him? It's Higashi, sir! Sorry to barge in on you like this. Higashi... What in the fuck are you doing here? Are you alone? I... Uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy! That's Red Nose! He stole the hundred mil from our office! Sorry, Red Nose. This is nothing personal. <gasps> Captain? <laughs> hey, um, that really a good idea? Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I... I... Well, I... Uh, What was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want, I'm begging you, Captain! But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Huh, probably right. You want to stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Prove yourself once and for all. But how? How can I? Here's how. What? He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Kind of a turn-on, to be honest. What are you so upset for? You're finally a real Yakuza now.
So you really didn't kill him, huh? No. But people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. True. The cops probably would suspect him. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, what if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm? This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. Yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. Hey, you ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh? When Tak was younger, his parents were both stabbed to death. Doc was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them. Pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home... Maybe he could have done something. Anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. Uh, so this guy who killed the family... Did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So, he lied about his age, and snagged a job at Tender. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first, either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with the Yakuza my size. The ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal. Then one day, I couldn't tell you why. Matsugane-san took a shine to him. This weird father-son thing just kind of happened. Tak wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why he took him in. Tak didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. There's a dead man walking. What are you and Matsugane-san still seeing him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us. And when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. 
Anaki. The captain's word is absolute. At least for now. But if he ever gave the order to off you, I might have to think twice about it. <laughs> I think I can live with that. Looks like that is the end of chapter three, the uh, stick up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you so much uh, for tuning in, and hopefully you're all having a good time. Keep those likes coming, keep those comments coming, and we'll see you on chapter four. Peace out.